Alex, and today I'm going to talk to you about environmental injustice. Let's start off with a definition. Environmental justice is the right of every person to have adequate protection from environmental hazards. Unfortunately, this right is not granted equally. People of color and low-income individuals are far more likely to see their communities fall victim to environmental injustice. When members of these communities voice their concerns, authorities are unlikely to listen, and when their concerns are addressed, the government response is often inadequate and fails to address the problem in a timely manner. This is the case in the South Valley. As a result, this community is in the 90th percentile of several of the EPA's National Environmental Justice Indexes. This includes ozone concentration, proximity to potential chemical accident sites, and Superfund proximity. You're probably wondering, what's a Superfund? Superfund sites are areas that are so polluted with hazardous waste that the EPA has prescribed long-term cleanups and monitoring. In the U.S., 21% of non-white Americans live within three miles of a Superfund site. In the South Valley, a community in which 80% of people self-identify as Hispanic or Latino, two Superfund sites are located within two miles of each other. For decades, the people of the South Valley have been fighting for the right to clean, breathable air. The Air Quality Board of Albuquerque has responded by continuing to grant permits to polluters in the South Valley. This has resulted in a higher risk of asthma, cancer, and a lifespan that is approximately 20 years less than the more affluent areas of Albuquerque. Community advocates have long made pro work to make progress, but there is more to be done. The San Jose neighborhood has been granted an alternative dispute resolution with the Albuquerque Air Quality Board that requires community input on all future air quality permits. This isn't just a local issue. Environmental injustice plagues communities globally. Community colors, communities of color in impoverished communities are consistently victims of environmental injustice. The system is built to make these victims feel alone and voiceless. But you can give them a voice.